hello family welcome back again to the god can shine good day from wherever you are watching from uh if you are new to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and smash that notification bell to get more video from us so in this video i'm going to be playing you what pastor chris and reverend tom teaching some um, speaking in tongues and you know going in the spirits so just watch this and be blessed thank you same yesterday today and forever what's the importance of speaking in tongues why must we speak in tongues what does the bible say about speaking in tongues and i have with me today on the program reverend tom making up can you talk to our viewers today on the importance of speaking in tongues what is it what does it mean to speak in tongues why do we need it thank you very much pastor um when you receive the holy spirit you you have to speak the language of the spirit in 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 praying in our fellowship with the holy spirit and in praying we express ourselves in the language of the spirit and the bible says that um he that speaks in an unknown tongue he speaks unto god and not unto men in the spirit he speaks mysteries now when you receive the holy spirit and you just all you just do is when you when you pray you speak in your understanding there is no empowerment remember in acts chapter 1 verse 8 he said you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and, and you shall be witnesses unto me now that power is dynamic ability to cause changes now you you there's a message you preach sir on activating the power now to activate that power you must speak in tongues and speaking in tongues then means you are stirring up that power of god that you have received on the inside you know and and in jude um jude is just one book verse 20 says um but ye beloved building up yourselves in your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost so praying in the holy ghost praying in the spirit and praying in the spirit is speaking in tongues speaking in tongues is the language of the spirit it is not it is not a language that is spoken by men it's not a dialect it's not a language of this world but it's a language of the spirit so when we speak in tongues we are emboldened we are empowered now a, a christian needs to walk in power always and to be able to walk in power you have to stir up that power now there, there are many people who for example uh, uh musicians and artists when they're going to face a crowd and they're going to perform because they they naturally will not be able to face the crowd they, some of them go on drugs and take some things to make them high now when you're filled with the holy spirit when you know how to speak in tongues it it this takes you higher than whatever drugs whatever level drugs can take you that's like what happened to peter who was a timid gentleman and um when he received the holy spirit yes sir yes sir when he received the holy spirit he was bold and the bible said after he preached three thousand souls meaning he faced the crowd but before then like you said he was timid but by the power of the holy spirit he could face thousands and he preached so clearly and boldly there's so much we can say about speaking in tongues you, you see when when you pray in understanding which is your language whether english or french or whatever your vocabulary is limited the scope is limited your vocabulary in prayer in is prayer limited is when limited. you pray in your understanding, you in your understanding. whether the, the the your native dialect or your lingua franca it makes no difference yes. now you are limited in your communication with god yes but when when you speak in tongues you, you it's, it's 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 limitless i mean you speak words of the spirit you cover much grounds because at that time you transcend beyond the earthly realm beyond the realm of your understanding because when you pray in, in the bible calls it understanding a, a beautiful construction understanding when you pray in a language that you know you can only go as far as your mind can understand but speaking in tongues is beyond your human mind it is it is a communication of the human spirit an expression of the human spirit you're speaking uh, uh, paul said uh, um, called it the language of the angels you could be speaking the language of the angels speaks tongues not tongues of men but meaning that sometimes when we speak in tongues angels can understand us. angels can understand us but men do not men do not understand us so when we receive the holy spirit we speak in tongues and when we begin to speak in tongues we're learning to exercise our human spirit 
That's another thing. Because without speaking in tongues, we cannot grow up spiritually. Can every, can every Christian speak in tongues? Everyone that is filled with the Holy Spirit can speak in tongues. And should speak in tongues. Now there are some Christians who say, um, I have received the Holy Spirit, but I don't speak in tongues. In fact, there are some who, who believe they have received the Holy Spirit and they don't speak in tongues at all. Is it possible to receive the Holy Spirit without speaking in tongues? Um, yes, it is possible to receive the Holy Spirit and not yet speak in tongues. But it's not possible for the Holy Spirit to be there and not be able to speak in tongues. You, you, okay, there's a difference between the ability, the ability to speak in tongues and whether or not one is speaking whether, in tongues. Yeah, whether or not, because there are some people that have received the Holy Spirit, they don't speak in tongues. Okay, they don't speak in tongues, not because they don't have the not ability. because they don't have the ability. Some don't even agree with it. Yes, some, some don't accept it. Some don't, some don't, accept don't believe it. Yes. And that's the only reason they don't speak in tongues. Yes. But the ability came when they received, when the, Holy they received the Holy Spirit. So every believer that received the Holy Spirit has the ability to speak in tongues and should speak in tongues because it helps you to grow spiritually. You know, when, when, when you speak in the tongues... The Bible says, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself. That builds up himself. Yes, like an edifice. Emboldens himself. He charges up himself. You know, sometimes because of the circumstances of life, one can be low, and feeling low and feeling down, feeling, you know, uh, um, frustrated. But when you speak in tongues, you're charged up, you're stirred up. I mean, all forms of frustration is gone when you speak in other tongues. How can someone who hasn't yet spoken in tongues or maybe he he didn't believe in it before and now because of what you're sharing with us he believes in it what can he do so that he can now speak in tongues you know when 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 um, if you are if you are filled with the holy spirit and you've not started speaking in tongues the work of the believer is a life of faith when you receive something you use it you have received the holy spirit and the, the, the Bible says in the book of Acts uh, on the day of Pentecost, he said those disciples who were together in one place, he said that as they were together, there came a sound as of a rushing mighty wind, you know, and he filled all the house and cloven tongues like as of fire sat upon them. He said, and they began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, the Spirit gave them utterance, but they began to speak in other tongues. If, if, you, if you're filled with the Holy Spirit, you have to begin to speak in other tongues because the ability is there. The Spirit has given you utterance. When you open your mouth and not to pray in understanding, you want to praise God and pray in the language of the Spirit, you will just find yourself, you know, speaking in other tongues. When I got filled with the Holy Spirit, as hands were laid on me, I opened my mouth and I began to speak in other tongues. So. Um, you said something when hands were laid on you. Now this one, some of them have received the Holy Spirit already and they're, they're listening now and they want to speak in tongues. What, what do they do now I from can, this moment? At this, at this moment we can begin. I, I, what, what we can do now as we pray, as I pray, you can join. And then as I begin to pray and speak in other tongues, you go ahead and begin to speak in other tongues right there where you are in your house because you have already received the Holy Spirit. The language of the Spirit is inside. Now, something interesting happened one day. There was a, there was a, a dear sister who had, I called out some people who had just been born again. I laid hands on them to receive the Holy Spirit. And then they began to speak in tongues, but she did not speak in tongues. So I said, um, did you speak in tongues? She said, no. Did you receive the Holy Spirit? She said, yes. I said, why didn't you speak in tongues? She said, I don't know. Then I said, why? God has given you the ability. She, then she said something like, there was some kind of language I was hearing inside. I don't like it. I didn't want it to come out of my mouth. So when I said, when I said, say exactly how it sounded, she just busted down and started speaking in tongues. You know, so she, she had received the Holy Spirit. It was inside. It was inside. She just felt, well, this is not a language that I'm familiar with. But thank God the Bible says, when a man speaks in, in tongues, his understanding, meaning his mind, is unfruitful, meaning he cannot comprehend or understand what he's saying at that time. Sometimes that's the reason some people actually don't speak in tongues. Now, when you begin to speak in tongues, your mind has nothing to do with this. It's not something you learn from somebody. You don't learn it. You don't copy it. You don't go to school for it. You, you, it's only the Spirit of God that trains you. I mean, that gives you the language. As you, the, the more you speak in tongues, you know, the, the, you, you find that the more fluent you become because it's the language of the Spirit. You That's know, so. remarkable. Uh, there's a, the scripture you just mentioned, I want us to, 
I want our viewers to look at that scripture in First Corinthians chapter number 14. From verse 2. It says, For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. For no man understandeth him. Howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mystery. 